Welcome, I'm glad you're with us. Today I have a special guest, Nancy Poplin, who is the owner of Popway Kennels in Locust, North Carolina. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. Nancy has been uh, a supporter of our organization from the day I met her. Uh, we've used her boys to breed too, and uh, they've produced great puppies for us. And Nancy has some beautiful dogs. Nancy is in the show world, and the, the purpose of this interview is to educate you, the audience, on what a good breeder is, what you should be looking for in a dog, and what you should run away from. So with that, Nancy, again, thanks for being with us. When did you start, um, how long have you been breeding Labrador Retrievers now? Oh, almost 30 years now. 30 years. I've been wow. showing for almost 30 years and breeding for about 25. Do you have any idea how many litters you've had? Oh, I would probably say in over the course of 25 years, maybe, maybe 30, 32. Oh, wow. So, I want to educate people. Why does a show person, first of all, what, when and why will a show person have a breed, a litter of right. puppies? When I do a breeding, of course, all my, um, the parents of the litter have got all their clearances. Mm -hmm. um, they meet the AKC standard. Um, but I also look to breed to keep something okay. to, for my hobby and showing and also um, to hopefully continue my breeding program. Okay. So when I do a breeding, it's for my selfish self. So you're not, yeah, so you're not, your purpose is not selling puppies. Correct. Selling puppies is ancillary to you wanting to have a puppy that you can take through the show ring. Correct. And then those puppies or those that you take through the show ring and earn a championship, basically by earning that championship, you've got a bunch of professional, individual opinions that dog that dog is worthy of being a champion. Correct. And that makes them worthy to breed. Correct. Okay. Worthy of being, being bred along with their, um, of course, ranking as high as their um, structure is and temperament is are their clearances. Okay. Which we run about eight, DNA tests. Okay. What are some of the things you look for? Uh, what we're looking for um, is we do uh, DNA tests for uh, PRA, mm -hmm. pre-retinal atrophy. We do a DNA test for EIC, mm -hmm. exercise induced collapse. Um, another genetic uh, disorder called HMPK, which is, which is which the nose crust. The nose, right. Um, and and the, um, the leather, for lack of better words, on yeah. your nose. Right. Um, we do echocardiograms on their hearts okay. to make sure there's no defects in their hearts. We do hips and elbows mm -hmm. um, when they're at the age of two. And then their eyes are cleared annually by a certified ophthalmologist every year. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a lot of expense, it, absolutely. right? A lot of expense absolutely. to go through, you know, in addition to flea, tick, heartworm. Uh, and as you and actually because of people like you who have mentored me, we do the same thing. And so now what we're going to do is, Nancy has brought a young girl with her, what's her name? Her name is Gracie. Gracie, a recent champion. Yep. And yes. Nancy's friend Sassy is with her. And Nancy is going to walk around the dog and judge the dog as Sassy stands her up. We'll go from one characteristic to the other so that you know what to look for in a champion dog. And by the way, remember, while you might not be a show person, you want a dog that is as close to champion as possible because remember, you're buying a Labrador for its physical appearance and specific characteristics outside of temperament and intelligence as well. Okay, um, what we want to look for in the Labrador Retriever. First of all, as the judge comes up to the exhibitor, I'm a, I'm a stranger to this dog. So I'm coming up to her face. The first thing I wanna do is look at her blocky head. I wanna to look to make sure that her head is in proportion to her muzzle, wait. I'm gonna check her teeth. Here's a complete stranger checking for teeth. We need full dentition. You have to think about a dog carrying a bird. They need all their teeth to keep it in their mouth. Um, we want to look for a deep chest. In a Labrador, the, the uh, length of their upper arm, which is from their elbow to the point of their shoulder, should match the point of the shoulder to the top of the withers. 
So we wanna check for shoulder layback. Shoulder layback is what allows the dog to move freely across the uh, field and swim. Then what we'll do is I'm gonna switch around to the side. We're gonna check again, shoulder layback. I wanna see a short coupled dog. I wanna see a coat that when you rake it, you see fingerprints. That's a dense coat. We're gonna look at the tail, which is to be an otter tail, um, which means it's a fat at the bulb and it um, tapers to the end. We want to check for soundness in their hips and in their back legs. So we will check, we will check the curve of their um, stifle, which allows for rear movement. And as Charlie mentioned earlier, we want well let down hocks which allows the dogs to push from the water, um, push from the mud and to swim. The main thing we also look at for these dogs is expression. Gracie, Gracie, cheese, Gracie. Good girl, a very sweet expression <laughs> and one that loves, um, loves people.